Well, you know what? I really appreciate you guys watching Red while I was gone. Uh, they fixed it up. Nice welds right down the tank. So I appreciate you watching. You can see one of the welds there. There's also one at the bottom. It's almost like she's had an appendectomy. Those are like battle scars. You know, we all have had surgeries and we, you know, have scars all over us. Well, now Red has that too. So now we got to go pay the bill. And uh, so far, I've been very happy with this service that these guys provide here in Southern California. But I haven't got the bill yet. I only have an estimate. So let's go get that worked out. And she's building up fuel. The crossover line is working. Uh, so good. I highly recommend these guys because they did what they said they were going to do and it didn't take them three weeks and three thousand dollars. It was five hundred and fifty dollars to do those two pretty significant welds and including taking off the tank and doing all that stuff and then rigging it all back up. So that's a pretty good price. Detroiter truck stop, which ironically enough, it's in Detroit. I have not been here in eight years, and it all looks different. at this truck stop and some other items that I still carry on my truck today um, one being my laundry bag now that's compelling video isn't it yes I will show you that laundry bag when we get the necessary things done. And I'm sorry I left you guys in California with old Red, but we did get her fixed and we've made a trip all the way from Detroit are from California to Detroit. I called ahead here to see if there would be space, and there is, so. Oh no. I don't remember it being a paying one. Oh, so we go to, from California having a paying one there to being a paying one here. Maybe it was.
the reason I'm saying that is uh, when I used to stay here it was free. And we'll just back her right in here. Next to the night trailer. Wabash and Wabash. That's what I'm talking about. The weld is still holding together even on the Michigan freeways. It's all coming back to me. It, it was a pay truck stop even back then I remember now uh, it was a Warner yard back then not a Warner yard but most of the trucks in the back were Warner because they would use this truck stop as a staging area before they would go to Canada so the Warner trucks would bring all their merchandise here and then they would have a fleet of trucks from Canada come up and pick it up and take it over the border to Toronto and that's what I did. I got stuck uh, going to, you know, just making those short little trips from here to Toronto. That's one reason I left Warner is because I didn't like making those little trips. But that was 10 years ago, so it was a good learning experience. That's why I said there's nostalgia coming here because I remember all those times as a new trucker coming and waiting here and waiting for the other driver to get here from wherever he was coming from. So here we are back at the Detroiter truck stop here in Detroit. they've kept here is the books. I re remember them distinctly and they've, they've kind of kept that up here because a lot of truckers still read. Not everything's electronic. So if you need a book, come on over here to the Detroiter and see what they got. Man, I slept good, no idling, 68 degrees here. Sorry, I don't know what temperature that is in Fahrenheit. 
or whatever they use in Canada. I'm so close to Canada, I'm thinking about Canadian stuff. Ten dollars US. Known around the world. Morning! Ticket. Oh yeah. You weren't gonna trust me, huh? <laughs> well, the reason I asked for that because if, if you like, end up losing it, it'll be 75 dollars. I know, we don't want that. No. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder how many times he's said it's going to be $75 and the truck driver just rammed right through the gate. I'll bet you that's happened a few times. You're watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. Stay tuned. Passable Jack, I got a passable Jack. I got a passable Jack, ooh baby, ooh. Passable Jack, I got a passable Jack, I got a passable Jack, ooh baby, ooh. Whenever I come to Detroit, I see that basketball and it reminds me of when I was a kid. I, I actually played basketball in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. It's a good memory. I mean, I wasn't a star basketball player, but that's my extent of memories of basketball. We have made it to our delivery all the way from California. Now we just have to find out where to go. What in the world? Looks like we have to back in here. That's, that's just nutty. Or we have to go down and turn around. I'll have to call them. What a stupid place. I'm, if I'm sounding negative, I, I guess I am. Well, I'm gonna go down and turn around. No one's answering their phone. So, I can go down there and do a turn around and then come back. Boy, there's no room in there. Absolutely no room. And of course nobody answers here either. I could just block the gate until eventually somebody uh, makes me move, but I don't want to get in there. I, there's no room in there to do a, to turn around. I don't have coils. I, sometimes, you know, you just don't have words. Oh, here's another sign. Let's see what it says. Let's see. Oh, same sign, just different colors.
we finally got in. Now let's see where they want us. All right, there's a secret entrance on the other side of the building that no one knows about. It's an old railroad track. All right, we gotta back up and go around to the other side, the secret entrance. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, he said I could back into any door I wanted. Once you find the right place, then everything works out good. It's just finding the right place that can be tough. Ah, well, let's open the door and see what we got. Yeah, just empty totes. I told him I brought these all the way from L.A. and of course he said he's never heard of that. They usually come from Chicago. So I want to make sure to tell him that he knows that, that the whole truck isn't his load. It's just half of it. All right, we made it in the dock. And hopefully they'll get us unloaded right away. We have one more drop of these same things. Watching Adventures and Chucking with me. <laughs>